Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. This is the original new save that we started a few days ago. Uh, we've been trying to mess around a little bit in the Devastator save, but still experiencing some crashes that are unpredictable. So I thought I would return to this save and keep on playing. And anybody that's new to the game might pick up a couple of tips, uh, maybe some interesting strategies to get through the first couple of tiers early and get to automation as fast as possible. Uh, so we're in the grassy fields and we are going to pick up where we are. I believe it's in tier two, tier two. Yeah, almost finished tier one. We've got some field research to do. Uh, and then tier two, we can unlock the assemblers and start to work on some of the other things happening. Uh, we also need to unlock, I think the space elevator is what happens at some point. We need to unlock the MAM as well. So that's what we need to do here. So let's select that milestone. That or do we want to do solid biofuel? Either way, we need 500 screws. Hmm. Solid biofuel. How do I want to do this? Don't care about jump pads. Awesome sink is nice to have. I would say we need to set up some screws and constructors. And I think the biomass is definitely the way to go. Field research. Mm, yep, yeah, let's go obstacle clearing, select that milestone, and I'll put that up on the top of my screen here so everybody can see what we're working on. Hundred cable, hundred concrete, and five hundred screws. We might even have I bet you I have the concrete. I do. Amazing. Concrete. Go. Cable. Don't think we have that. I don't think we're making the cable. I think we were doing that ourselves. This has got no power. Does it have no ore? It has no ore. Alright, let's go get some more ore. Do I have enough plates to run a... I might have enough plates to run a belt down here. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, chainsaw, Dan, I'm assuming that is you agreeing that you'd like me to get the train chainsaw. Alright, I think I tried this before. can just use a foundation, I think. Gets us out to here. And then we can go down from there, I think. Uh, it's just going to be a normal lift. These are new to us, so that's good. Too worried about that? That could have been higher, I guess. I wish you could ride the lifts down. That would be really fun. Get a few more leaves while we're up here. I've got a funny feeling we're going to run out soon. Build that down here, and then we'll try bring this across. Always nice to not have to uh, duck underneath it. Is 
This, of course, is all going to be temporary. I keep on forgetting about holding control to get underneath stuff. So now we have our um, copper automatically coming in here. We don't have it going to cable yet. That, oh, that's got no power. Does this have power? That has power. So the other thing we need to do is screws. And I think the easiest thing to do here is going to be looking at 15 per minute. What does screws need? I don't remember. 10 per minute. We could make more constructors doing rods though. 15. This is going to have 30 coming out at least. So I could do another constructor doing rods and dedicate another constructor to screws. Screws, rods. Now I don't think we're going to have enough power for this. We shall soon see. And this is going to do rods, and then we just need to put a splitter on this oh that did not work the way that I wanted it to weird how it kind of oh, there we go Depends on where you start it, how it connects. Uh, so that is our power gone. And I need to get up on here to attach a splitter. Biomass, that's biomass. What's our capacity? Capacity is 40. So we we need to finally add another biomass burner. So we should find a spot for biomass burners to all be grouped together. It's not a lot of room. Maybe we should just do it out here. So we'll do that, and what do biomass burners cost? Uh, we can make lots, okay. And these all have inputs now. So what I should do is set up constructors to make the things I want and automatically feed them into the biomass burners. Uh, automating the input for biomass made the early game much more enjoyable, says Dosage. Yeah, no, I agree.
Zero sixty T sixty six. Thanks very much for being here. And uh, again, I'll reach out via via DM. I should have saved one of those crashes. I'm sure I can probably find them. All oh, right. I can't jump. I always forget that I don't have the blade renders yet. Do we have stairs? No. Just ramps. So I'm going to need some place to dump this stuff. So we're going to have to put in an organizational bin. Go in this way. That's going to go into a constructor. Oh, no cable. So we can do that just to see. Biomass wood, biomass. I need to do one of each. So two constructors, one for each of the fuel types. And eventually we'll have solid biomass. I'm going to plan for that. So this is wood, leaves, these are going to combine in a merger, head in that direction, so this is eventually going to go into a different constructor right there. But for now, we can send it into the biomass burners. No concrete. What's the button for copying a middle mouse button? It's like pick block in Minecraft. I have it set up for middle mouse button. Uh, it is under keybinds. Um, sample building, middle mouse button, but you can change it to a key if you want. So that is going to have possibly another constructor there. So let's just put the biomass burners over here, I guess. I have two, but I'm not going to use those because those are going to be a pain in the butt to, to fill manually. We're just going to use these and I'm going to do it uh, evenly. So I'll just for now, I'll put this here. This way they won't fail one at a time, they'll fail um, exactly how you want them to be. All at once. You don't want a single point of failure. You should have other plates over here, right? Yes. Cool. So, uh, leaves. wood. Don't think I have other leaves in wood. I do. And I have more biomass. So this is leaves. And 
wood. And then I just need to get this going. So we'll connect our grid with a fancy power pole. Let's do it here. Man, I really do miss the jumping. Cool, so now we should be able to get this sorted. Uh, I'm gonna grab the biofuel out of these other ones because it wasn't that we ran out of fuel, it's that we ran out of capacity. And that should all be connected up to the same network, which is good. What I should do is disconnect these so our capacity is accurate. Still might not be good, but we'll figure it out. For now, I'll just put 37 in each one. See if that's enough. Now our capacity is at 90, consumption is at 41. We're good. Uh, what I need to do now is hook these up to power. So let's bring this over here. More concrete. So that'll start to fuel that and I need what I need to do is I need to get a little bit of this um, extra so we'll, why don't we put one here and then I need a merger on this line too sharply interesting Oh, that's annoying. I guess I'll do this. So now I can put my extra biomass in here if I have it. So new biomass and existing biomass will merge and be split three ways to keep these guys going. Excellent. Okay, we're good for a little bit here. Mosaic Dream. Oh, it's a tiny corner, Joel. Yes, hi. Uh, just FYI, you're at around an hour since the last previous stream. Uh, thanks. I think I'm going to keep track with this stream, so we'll go with uh, the 19 minutes for this this VOD. But thanks, Cosmic. Uh, so then here, I need to hook this up. Screws, please. Rods, rods to screws, plates. This is making limestone. This is making cable or wire rather. And then cable is pretty fast. So we can probably handcraft that pretty quickly. Dan, thanks very much for being here. Appreciate it. I'm too chaotic. Welcome in. Thanks for the, the shout out. I appreciate you being here. How'd you find the stream? Are you a Spawn Chunks listener by chance? I only have 48. I think I'm going to wait on that. 500 screws is also a lot. Yeah, we might want to add to this. Uh, 
I can always just grab more rods as I need them. What do I have? Oh yeah, I've got a couple stacks of rods. We're good. What I should maybe do is front load this. See if that helps. Uh, you listen to all the Spawn Chunks episodes. Awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you like the podcast. So this is making plates. Do I run? A, I keep on running out of plates. Do I not? Yeah. Are you encroached on there, my friend? I'm not too worried about it being perfect. I just want this to work. I enjoy how you've used the rock as part of the decoration. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Just trying to clear the inventory here. So we've got all the ingots. make more put front load that front load this just to again give us a little bit of room now we're talking we are almost there on the 300 500 screws nice and we're out of biomass how are we doing for internal here? We've got 73. I kind of wish that they would give you like a um, a counter. Like I wish it, you could have like a visual indication on the outside of that when it was getting low. Farther and further afield here. Usually these little groups of trees have got wood on the ground too. Pretty soon we'll be able to get the chainsaw and get this stuff a lot faster. Oh, I'm here in the Mercer Sphere. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal and will require study to determine local application, store it for later use. Cool. I didn't realize they were named after a sci scientist. And what do they what do they call them? Unique, like, something drip sphere? We'll make a round on the other side here on the way back. This should be enough to last us a little while.
basically I want to just rip through the early tiers and then we can start to think about like what we might want to do in this area. I've been watching Total Eclipse do his playthrough in this area and it's it's cool to see uh, our Metroplex playthrough. We built a platform like above these uh, rocks with the gas and it worked out very well and I might attempt to do that again. No other way. We do have some wood. Quartz. The Mercer Sphere, it's reference to Matt Mercer. Oh, is it? As like a internal thing? There's our 500 screws. And I might be able to craft the cable, actually. Yep. This will make getting some biomass a lot easier. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. <laughs> Inspirational note, will you be the Fixit employee of the month? You could be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This isn't just fun. It's contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. Was it me or did she, did she say could odd? It was like could. It was a, it was a very strange pronunciation. That's weird. Uh, chainsaw. We can have a chainsaw now. Chainsaw requires screws and reinforced plates. was five plates. More screws still, my goodness. Never enough strews. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sweet. So now we have a chainsaw. Oh, it's red. Nice. Now I've turned it down. <laughs> uh, because of reasons. It's very, very loud. So. But this becomes... Oh, I need fuel for it, don't I? Yeah. Does that not work for the fuel? 
Oh, it's is it does it have to take solid biomass? I guess it has to take solid biomass. Well then. We have to change up the things. Okay. So, uh, we are making biomass and we have to add another machine here. More cable. Another really good tip is to try to get up on top of your machines as often as you can. I find it a lot easier to sort out what's going on. Uh, so we don't need that anymore. Uh, what I need to do is connect this to a new constructor. So this is going to go away. I had planned for this originally. So that's a merger. What we want is a constructor here, but facing the other way. This is going to be doing solid biomass. Bio, solid biofuel, pardon me. And then we'll just bring this along here. And then this is unfortunately a little close. So we'll just snake it around for now. So that should now switch when all of these things run out. 10 per minute. So we've got eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. Uh, but this will be stuck outside until done. And so now I just need to empty my inventory of all the leaves and the wood. And the biomass, I guess I can leave the biomass in my inventory just for the for the chainsaw. Oh right. Wrong thing. Now it's working. I'm just gonna run along here and get all the goodies. Oh man, that kills you real fast, doesn't it? Back to Chainsaw. I do find the animation a little bit slow. You kind of get excited to, to use it. But it takes a while. Okay. Where? More stuff that's in the way of my progress. There's more trees over this way, too. Yep. Yeah. All right, that should be enough, I think, to get us going for a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, this is wood. This is leaves. And I don't really need the solid biomass for anything. Other than maybe splitting it up. So I'll get rid of two and I'll put three in each machine and that'll be done. And this is just going to fill up till it hits a max and then we should be good. Keep that for me. Pave paradise and put up an automated parking lot. Yep. So we're in pretty good shape actually because we now have couple of machines going for most things. The only thing we're not getting a lot of is rods, but I already got a pretty big surplus of rods. So now we just have to figure out what our next stage is going to be. Tier one, we have fuel research for the MAM. I could probably do that right now, actually. Tier two, we have parts assembly. Logistics. Awesome shop. I don't care about the jump pads. Space elevator. Can I build the space elevator? I must be able to, right? Whoops. Yep. Yeah. It's just going to take a lot of stuff. All right. I'm not so much worried about that right now. I think we should focus on probably the field research. We do have a couple things in the MAM I might be able to get. That or... Parts assembly. Don't really think we're there yet. Yep, yeah, I'm good with the MAM. Milestone reached. Supply the molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Cool sunset. Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory buildings. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars. Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. Hmm. Nice. Well, one thing I like to do in Satisfactory is take my breaks at nighttime uh, because it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing in the day. So I'm going to pop up here on top of the hub. I'm going to go on a short break, and when I come back, we will continue with the automation of all this stuff. In the meantime, y'all can just watch things move along here. Where is, where's a good vantage point? Maybe, maybe over here? Cool. I will be back in about five or six minutes.
Okay, back we are. Uh, sun is almost coming up here, or I guess the second sun? It's not really a moon. It's the, the planet's got two suns. One is dimmer than the other. Thanks, Cosmic. So, the milestone we have to choose is what we have to do next. And we sent away the MAM so I can build the MAM now. I think what I should do, though, is put this hub on a platform. So let's quickly... What's that going to affect? That's going to affect a lot of stuff. Okay. We're going to temporarily put our production out when I move that power pole. But we can dismantle the hub. And add some of these. Get rid of that. And add more here. And now that I'm not using the um, biomass burners in the hub, I'm going to place it that way. And then lock the hologram. We're just going to stick it right here on the edge. That can go there. And then we'll stick the MAM, which is this right here. Oh, I need other things. It's weird when you turn the hub around because you get your kind of habits are backwards. We can put these back in there. Okay. The man we can put here. Still not enough cable. The nice thing is we can move these things around as we need to. And this, we've got alien technology, which we don't have anything other than the Mercer Sphere yet. We've got nutrients, which we can use. And we've got quartz, which we can unlock. Start with the Mercer Sphere, even though I already know what this does. Mercer Sphere Analysis Completed Established Local Planetary Signature of Massage 2 A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to defile our shrine? Sing us song. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien life. Weird. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. So we haven't found a Mercer Sphere, uh, Summer Sloop yet, and I haven't found any SAM in the area. Uh, so I can't go any farther on that. We can, however, research this. This fruit, dubbed the Paleberry, due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Need five of those. I don't have any of those. This is unlocked behind steel. Okay. We're not there yet. Do I even have an object scanner? That would be in the equipment workshop. Oh, 
Where's a good spot for that? Oh yeah. Cool, so I have one of those now too. Uh, what's the other thing? Xeno Zapper, Chainsaw, okay. Couldn't just say edible, could she? She had to go with compatible with the human digestive system to make it gross. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's fair. We are out of leaves and out of wood. Are we on to biomass yet? Yeah, we are. Seventy-four, four per minute. So, almost twenty minutes. Yeah. So I feel like we have enough stuff now that we're doing okay for building. We should be able to expand a little bit. What am I doing for rods? Oh, we're still good. So now we need to figure out what our next goal is going to be. Tier 1 complete. Uh, I should save the game. Tier 2, part assembly, don't care about jump pads, don't think the resource sink is all that important, I feel like this might be the better way to go, even though we're not making those just yet. Actually, part assembly, yeah. That's what we'll do. But really, it's just the cable. Yeah, I, I like some of the new dialogue from Ada. The the, the interruptions with the um, the weird AI, like the weird creepy stuff, is um, something that happens a lot, and it happened a lot at the level that we're at in the Devastator save. But right now, it seems to be pretty even. Was it 200 cable, I think? Might as well just make all of it. There we go. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fix-It cherishes your innate human abilities, mm -hmm. such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. I don't think we need the jump pads, uh, but I think we should start doing some plating. We have the power. Yes.
So what we can do is take some of these screws and some of these plates and add them to a um, an assembler. So we'll have the assembler go this way. Uh, production. That needs rotors and assemblers or and plates. I didn't realize that assemblers cost so much. I can't make rotors. So this way we'll get some a reinforced plates being made early. And then we'll do a rotor as well. Uh, yeah, rotor assembler. I feel like I should maybe leave myself a little bit more room, so we're going to go out this way. The plan for anybody that needs to know is to tear this all down eventually. Can't make two of them, that's fine. So we are gonna do screws and I guess we'll go around to here. And this is gonna make reinforced iron plates. I'll have to move these towers but we should be able to take the plates from here and it might be better to go up and over. Probably a good idea. I have to guess at the height of this. Sure. How'd I do? That looks pretty straight. Aha! So that should be that. It's gonna be plates. And then I just need to power this. And I think what we're gonna do, let's go from here. More cable. Wire, pardon me. I always get the two mixed up, I don't know why. A thousand hours in this game, and I still can't get them right. Uh, Bali says you use AI in your work a lot and answers are becoming more human, which sometimes starts to worry me. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Uh, yeah, a thousand was just my ballpark. I've got 1100 in the Devastator. I think I have three or 400 in the other saves. I think I've probably got about 1500 hours in the game, which feels weird to say out loud. Great. So now we are automating reinforced iron plates. It's 
quartz available? Yes. I'm trying to remember what's in the quartz tree. Blade Runners. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Is that being slow for some reason? 30. 30. Weird. Oh. Yeah, I think it's only operating at half speed. Quartz equals silica for windows, yes. Agreed. That pushed our power up pretty high though. Max consumption is 86, capacity is 90. We are probably getting real low. No? Are we even across the board? Is this working? 111 and 123. So it's almost even, but that could have been my fault from earlier. get the stuff on the ground. It makes the stuff on the ground a lot easier to see though. Got that stuff. should be good for another little while it's hard to remember to do all that stuff so our two things are going to be the space elevator which i should put in my list and the next jump or logistics milestone Say we go for the awesome shop. Or maybe we should go for logistics. Yeah. So if you're just making screws for the fun of it, I'm wondering if I can I could always just steal screws from this line because this needs 60 screws per minute and this is making 40. But the plates it needs are slow. No, the screws are slow. So I could add those screws to it, but then we're not making enough rods. I need to go double check something back here. I think it might be time to add another smelter. Sixty per minute, and these take thirty. Yeah. So why are these so slow then?
I guess it's because I've I topped them up with the ore. That's probably it. So, what do we need to do now? Project assembly. Wire. A lot of wire. Oh, is this... This is only getting so much. This needs another smelter as well. We should change this setup a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, move this back. Oh, I should leave that there. I'll take this out though. Change this to wire. This is outporting 30 and this only needs 15. So we do a couple things here. We can put in least two smelters. We don't have to use them right away. Oh, this could be in the way. Smelter down. Put a splitter down. And then also add this. Let's not do that. So if I connect you to you, I can delete you. Excellent. And then I can delete this one. it. Start that up again. Wire. Wire. And then one of these could make us some cable. Maybe I'll just do that manually. do that by hand and then we have to put back our concrete also we need to hook up that again Invalid shape. Weird. Um, that's just odd. All right.
The new straight mode makes building up high and having it look nice so much better. I mean, sort of. <laughs> They're a little close, but it'll get the job done. I forgot that was there. Please. So from here, we should be able to get delete that, create a new there. And then we can just add our constructor for our concrete. I was bringing it a little bit closer. Maybe I'll just try to get it over here. I'm not bothered with storage bins because they just take up a lot of resources that we need early game, so we'll just do this this way. Uh, wire? Yeah. No, concrete. What am I doing? Concrete. This is where color coding this stuff would come in very handy. Now we should be cooking on the wire. And we should have the plates, maybe? Yeah, I do find I get more invalid shape errors with, um, with the new belt mode. 183, we're laughing. Okay. Sweet. Feeling very happy about that. Man, this is a huge change. I, I really have to tip my hat. We were not able to automatically fuel these before. Uh, it's going to get trickier for me because I'm going to have to add another machine here in a second. So, um, splitting it into four is going to be more interesting. Might have to rearrange a couple things. What's the next thing? Can I reach the concrete easily? Yes, I can. Beautiful. We've got 200 concrete, no problem. Three hundred rods we do not have. Feel like we probably have a capability. Probably overload this. Can do that. Sweet. Torch that. So what I can do, I think maybe with these screws is scrap this and let this guy build up some rods. So we're gonna have to dump our rods in here.
Cosmic Dancer, thank you for stepping in and being awesome. I really appreciate it. Don't want to dump all my plates. Could dump those in though. Those are being used. It's this one. It's building up the plates. There we go. Beautiful. Milestone reached. Fix it would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. Mm -hmm. Stay mm -hmm. efficient. Don't disappoint. Fix it. I wish we could use the lifts recreationally. It says we can, but you can't really ride them, which is too bad. So that gave us new buildables under logistics. We've got... Mark two belts, mark two lifts, stackable poles, which I don't like, but they are useful in early game. Personal storage box, good stuff. We've got nothing else new there. So really now I think it's just about building up the parts for the space elevator. This is not essential to progress and neither are these. So I feel like what we should do is uh, look at what we need for the space elevator, which is going to be building up rods, which we're doing. Good. Uh, I need to build up plates, which we are doing. So at this stage now, I feel like it's probably a good idea to add a storage box. And I don't need a box for each thing. I think what we're going to do is just put down a single storage box and fill it up with a bunch of different items. Because we seem to be requiring stacks just as soon as we accumulate them. So let's put a bin, I guess here in the middle. Um, is that enough room? Not really. Maybe that way. Put a merger on this side. It's a splitter. I need to switch my merger splitters. I've got them on the wrong keys. Splitter, seven, merger, eight. Bits, holy nuggets. Coming in with a crazy raid. Where's my ladder? Where's my ladder? Bits, thank you so much. Holy smokes. It's Bits, raided with a party, a massive party of 623. Fantastic. I'm assuming you were playing Satisfactory Bits. Uh, I've been following your streams for a while. Uh, thank you ever so much for the raid. Uh, thank you to everybody coming in and following. My goodness. Thanks for the love. Uh, you might find that my Nightbot will uh, kind of delete your messages if, it, if there's too many emotes. FYI, I think the limit is like 14 or something. Uh, but just in case uh, you are um, you are getting your messages uh, muted, it's just because Nightbot doesn't like too many emotes. Um, Z Haddon is no... Is Noah Gamer one? Hello, welcome in. Uh, we are. Wow, lots of people getting followed. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, people in my chat, uh, go and follow It's Bits, B I T Z, uh, on Twitch. There's going to be a link in chat with a heart. Please go follow that. Uh, also, doing an early playthrough, uh, probably a lot farther than I am by now because they're doing a streamathon. So you can go and check them out. They also stream on YouTube. So uh, very easy to catch wherever you are uh, able to find your favorite streams. 
Uh, folks, uh, my name is Joel Duggan. I am a full-time podcaster and streamer. I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs, all about Minecraft. You can find that at thespawnchunks.com or on your favorite podcast app. Brand new episode out today talking about the new Minecraft development cycle. We had a lot of news today to cover, as well as some listener email, which was really fun. I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And of course, I stream here on Twitch. Uh, right now, it's a lot of satisfactory. I do also stream a lot of Minecraft. So if you're into those kind of building games, then you are in the right place. And I really cannot thank you all enough for all these great follows. Wow. What a great way to, to come in. Uh, Z Haddon says that Bits just finished Turbo Fuel. Oh, wow. Okay. Well ahead of me. Uh, this is just, we we have a 1,100 hours in the game. Uh, we have a, a, a save that we're basing off of uh, Devastator, the uh, Transformer combiner. And unfortunately, that 1,100 hour save keeps on crashing. And um, I've been wanting to move forward with it, but I just haven't had the, the opportunity. So uh, Nitrous Noxus... Nitri Noxus, sorry. 202 hours left on the game marathon timer. Wow, 202? Bits is going to be playing satisfactory until Christmas time. Holy smokes. Uh, since you do Minecraft, I've been working on a satisfactory mod in Minecraft. Oh, that's cool, Ziaden. Very fun. Oh, there's our, our boy coming back somewhere. Such a cool animation. I don't know if they've changed it much in the development, but I just, I really like the way that this thing comes home. Cool. So our next task is going to be to build the space elevator somewhere, probably out there, would be my guess. Uh, yes, he has all days he leaves with more hours on the clock than when he started. Wow, that's incredible. Well, I really appreciate all the support from you folks here today. That's amazing. Uh, when you came in, we were just going to hook up a bin here. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. Place that there. Um, that is going to have to be... I have to do that. Over the top, I guess. Whoops. And then this other one we'll bring in this way. Uh, what tier am I on? Tier two. We are just we just finished the important part of tier two i'm going to try to unlock phase one so we uh, i'm not going to bother with the jump pads or the awesome shop until i actually have coal power for this playthrough um because this is like my fourth time starting the game i decided that i was going to try to get through the um the different levels as fast as i could uh and then we're going to tear this down and build something a little bit more substantial uh, when the time comes Right, grab some more stuff. And I've not been using a lot of bins just because they take up a lot of room and resources. So I've been doing a little bit of running around. Uh, this is the first one that we've actually utilized. But we need 250 plates. That's going to come slowly. Rods. Cable. Or wire. Wire should be there. Yeah, we're uh, almost. The plates are the real bottleneck here. Oh, I missed the jump. I miss my Blade Runners. <laughs> I miss my Blade Runners and my jetpack. Something fierce. Now, why are you slow? Right, because I front loaded the, the iron. Oh. This is putting out 20 and 10. Should be fine. It's weird that these stutter when they're merging. Like this should be only putting out 20 per minute on a 60 belt. I don't know why it's slow. This seems fine, but then this stops. 
It's odd. Uh, isn't there a pair of Blade Runners in the Doggo Cave? Yeah, there is, but it's way over at the Doggo Cave. <laughs> there is. You're you're right. Uh, my typical is once I get to trains, I rebuild everything. Yeah, that's a good that's a good time to do it too. Steel with Mark IV belts, a good time as well. Uh, Hexa Spark says, top tip, don't allow nuclear alpha hogs to follow you home. Spent 30 minutes trapped in my hub. Oh no, 42 deaths. That's rough. That's rough. We've got a couple things unlocked in the man, but nothing crazy. We just started quartz and a couple of other things. So, concrete. So this seems like a bit of a waiting game. I think maybe what we need to do is think about fixing up this ugly monstrosity. I don't know how I managed to get this off grid. I thought that I put this on grid out here, but it is it is not. Not at all on the grid. But we should be able to just scoot in underneath it and tweak a couple things here. Until you do your first five to ten hard drives, it's best to avoid unlocking them in the man. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done any hard drive searching. Um, I do want to look for some, though. Um, I don't think I can scan for them yet. That's the wrong thing. Can't scan for anything with a berry. Mercer Sphere. I guess that's it. It's just Mercer Sphere. Oh, no. Mercer Sphere and Paleberry. I could have sworn your middle mouse button changed that. Oh no, it's the right click. Never mind. Hard drive scanner is bugged for you. That's no good. Alright, so that gets rid of the ugly foundations. This is still all crooked, but that's fine. Can't see. That is going to be a splitter. Just remember that. Spending all my precious uh, space elevator resources on um, <laughs> foundations to keep things organized. I'm assuming Bits has spoken uh, at a great length about how much the um, straight build mode is a real lifesaver. sure. So once again, folks, in my chat, um, there wasn't a, a lot of you here, but if you want to um, check out what Bits is doing on either YouTube or on Twitch, please go and follow It's Bits. Uh, it's underscore B-I-T-Z. I'm okay with that for now. That's doable. So why... This is backed up because I keep on front-loading the machines.
Uh, NS Senna? N Senna? I hope I'm saying your name right. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, you started today or restarted? I restarted uh, on Friday because we're getting a lot of crashes in my uh, 1100 hour save. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, I This might be a good time for actually for me to save this game. And I could show everybody here um, the, the Devastator save um, just to kind of get a good look at it. Just give me a second here. Hopefully it won't crash. Um, we are at tier... 2.2. I should just say working on the space elevator, I guess. Uh, eleven twenty two. 302 and 72. So 384 plus. Yeah, so 1500 hours, give or take. Don't remember where we were standing when this crashed. I think we're in the main factory. This might be a bit of a risk. I'll go to Megatron as fast as I can. And see if we can get away from Devastator. There seems to be like a rendering thing that might be crashing the game, and my main factory is a bit heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go backwards. I'll go this way, so you can all see what's going on. Get in there. Does anybody else miss being able to go into your inventory when you're in a hypertube? I used to be able to switch from my jetpack to my um, hover pack while in the hypertube, depending on what I wanted to do after, and I find it a pain that I can't anymore. So this is something we set up. Um, I'm not sure about what update we moved out here. Update four or five, maybe. But this is the start of the factory. Uh, the bones, I guess. There's a lot of guts in there that are working very well, but the, the look of it is still the bones. But if you remember the uh, Devastator board that I put up earlier, if you look at the image just under my camera, his knees and his thighs are kind of the shape language that I was using to inspire the front um, parts here and here and then I was going to build on top of and then out from that so that's the idea and that's why everything is green and purple but we've got a bunch of uh, train stations happening here we've got a bunch of resources being collected we're also bringing things in from the western slopes over there and the green valley over there plus we have a decent roundabout so uh, this save started in the northern forest just where you can see my space elevator still is but uh, so far it is uh, going to main bus with 27 belts, I want to say. Hold on. If I bring this up, I might be able to show you. Mm -mm -mm. Main bus. 28. 28 belt belts right now on the main bus. And um, if I dive into this, put on my jetpack, you'll get like a bird's eye or not a bird's eye view a flyby view cross your fingers for not a crash we're going to dive under the train tracks that we're putting in but there's our main bus going down the middle all kinds of cool stuff happening we've got uh everything but motors and stators are being made here and i'll scoot down to megatron to show you that build too because i think that'll help us with potential crashes get out of devastator as quickly as possible giga corbio hello or Corbio? Welcome in. Love the idea of the Transformers? Thanks, yeah. They were part of my childhood. It's always my favorite kind of thing. Uh, I think it also helps me keep these things colorful as best I can. Uh, Z Haddon says you're just over 1800 hours. Nice. Very, very cool. So this is our main power plant. This is uh, what is 400 fuel gens, but I don't need 400 anymore. I only need 240 because they changed the recipe in a good way. I'm actually going to have to remove some of it. There's a weird break in this hyper tube. 
Uh, so this is four oil nodes, two normal, two pure, being turned into heavy oil residue, then turned into diluted fuel. Obviously, I've aimed that wrong. And then the diluted fuel is brought upstairs and... Oh, this is gross. Sorry. Uh, and then brought upstairs and turned into energy. So I'm going to have to delete the top floor and make the um, second to top floor smaller in order to make this work. But it's a pretty big build and I'm pretty happy with it. And this is, this is actually modeled after uh, Megatron, the Decepticon leader. So his barrel in there in his, in his, uh, on his arm, I've kind of turned that vertical. So if we go into the middle of this place, you'll see that it's just one giant hollow cylinder all the way up. And I did not realize it had such a cool view of the project assembly. That's awesome. Um, so in here is where we've got all the refineries. I've got a lot more building happening here, a lot more long-term um, fun clipping and design happening with lights and cool stuff like that. I really like the water side. The water side is really fun. Thought they messed with the nodes here. Nope. Nope. The nodes are the same. The nodes are the same. Um, it's just that we, um, we have to adjust the, um, the output. Uh, v Hosa, thanks very much. Uh, where do I go up? There is an up over here. So I'm thinking about bringing trains down in here because we've got plastic that we have to export. There's still a lot of this is very much under construction. So a lot of our hyper tubes are not permanent. They're just like ways for me to get up quickly. So there's all the blenders. And if we go way up top... Yeah, so you can sort of see where's a good vantage point. Oh, we're down one. Go up one more. So much details everywhere. Thank you. I mean, it's obviously still, obviously still a work in progress. Um, but what's happening is each floor has got 25 fuel gens. Right, so 12 and 12 plus the one in the end. It's all being piped underneath and fed that way. Oh, we're going to lose lose the light here. Uh, and they're coming up in the corners. So every pipe that comes up here is coming up from a corner and then being moved around. And the way that that looks down here is... All of that is going into the blenders. And then the blenders are on this floor. I'm not sure how clear this all is. But when this is all decorated, it'll look a lot, a lot better. I think I have one of these decorated. Which one is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, so the idea for this would be something sharp and angular and red and black um, for for the Decepticon Megatron kind of theme, right? And um, I'll add more lights and stuff later. But each one of these floors is going to look like this. And it's going to take everything, send it up, and then this is just going to be some giant open hole. And what's happening on one of those floors up there is... Where'd it go? Somewhere I've got elevators. There we go. We've got batteries. So I'm working batteries into the outer ring. I think it's on this floor. Nope. One more. It's really hard to remember where you are in this build. For sure. Thanks. I can't wait to see it finished either. The problem is I've been holding off on it because the, um, the save... Like I said, is getting a lot of crashes, so I've not put a lot of aesthetic work into what I've been doing. So here's a kind of a proof of concept about what we're doing 
on the inside of these rings. So this is that main cylinder, right, that you saw that goes up in the middle. But we've got this space between the inner ring and the outer ring that I can use as a hallway. And what I thought I would do is line it with batteries, you know, with power storage. So each one of these bays will have like five of these, I think. So there'll be a, another chunk there. And then there's going to be a door to here, to that wing. And then you can see around the corner here, there's a door to that wing. And so in between each door, where I'm going to put a bay of, of battery. So it's going to be decoration, but then also functional too, right? And it looks really cool from a distance. Just give me a second. I think it's this way. Yeah. Oh, can I go down? Yes. Nope. I want to go over here. It is a massive build. I'm really quite proud of it. Uh, and this is also kicking out 60,000 megawatts. So we are laughing for power uh, in this in this save for the time being. Uh, it's just so frustrating that I keep on getting crashes. But you'll see, like, we've been here for, what, 15 minutes playing around? No problem. Uh, I go back in Devastator, and it could be 5 minutes. It could be 10 minutes. It's really hard to tell. Anyway. So all of this is fueled by those four oil nodes right there. It's like 1800 fuel. If I bring up my sheet, actually, I can show you the. This is it here. That's the whole thing. Just planned out. So it's um, 1800 crude oil being turned into 4800 diluted fuel, which then powers uh, everything, but I got to do the new math uh, because we've only got 400 or 240 now. So what's going to happen, I think, is uh, this top floor is going to be removed, and this third floor is going to be cut in half. It's going to stop about there. Anyway, not bad, right? Anyway, uh, I unfortunately have to run. It's about 7:30 my time, which is when I needed to wrap up the stream for today. Uh, I will send you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory, though. Uh, let me just see who's live that we can send you along to. I feel total is probably done. Um, how do you feel about Nilaus? N-I-L-A-U-S is live. Uh, I think you will probably enjoy their stream. I think I've followed a couple of their videos on YouTube as well. Uh, so we're going to send you all over there. Uh, thanks again for hanging out. For everybody that came in with that uh, that raid from uh, from Bits, uh, do check out the YouTube. Uh, I have a um, VOD channel, Joel Duggan VODs. That's where all of the satisfactory play is. There's a lot of uh, Update 8 play just before 1.0 dropped. If you want to see a good look at what Devastator is and what it's doing, uh, you can also follow, of course, this new save uh, where we have started off in the grass fields. If you'd like, uh, that's all over at Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. If you'd like to join the Discord, uh, you can check out uh, maybe a, a Twitch Prime sub or a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Joel Duggan is the best way to join the community. Uh, it's only $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee. It helps me stream more often. And uh, you get to join a really cool community if you are so uh, inclined. And uh, thanks again for all the bits today, for the follows, everybody that followed in from that bits raid. It's just so nice to see a bunch of new people discovering the channel. Uh, I truly appreciate it. Uh, Cosmic Dancer, I know that you have not been around much, but I really appreciate you hanging out tonight. Thanks for the mod help. Uh, really, really kind of you. And um, by all means, folks, follow me on social media, at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. Check out the Spawn Chunks podcast or the Citadel Cafe podcast. I feel like Bits community would probably enjoy the talks that I've had about like Rings of Power and other sci-fi stuff, Marvel stuff, all that's happening on the Citadel Cafe. So once again, folks, thanks very much. We're going to pass you along to Nilaus, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for another Satisfactory stream. Bye for now.